A high speed chase Sunday night had Royal Oak Police hot on the trail of two men. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville has the dash cam video showing what happened. He's standing by live in Royal Oak now with the latest for us. Aaron? Anu and Stephen, first and foremost, everybody is glad that no one got hurt during this chase. I'm where it started. I'm at 12 Mile in Woodward in Royal Oak. That's where officers, they pulled over this vehicle in this area, and that officer, just like me, got out of his car and was walking over to that vehicle to talk to them, and that's when those guys took off down the road, leading police on this high-speed chase, but thankfully, it was over after a few minutes. During the pursuit up Main Street towards the end of the chase, uh, it was approaching 100 miles an hour. The driver took off through a nearby neighborhood in Royal Oak, trying to avoid officers weaving down side streets, eventually emerging near Crooks in 12 Mile. Investigators say inside the car, 38-year-old John Nudson of Livonia and 28-year-old Dustin Klein of Trenton. They refused to stop, and officers continued to follow. The chase ended in Clawson near 14 Mile in Maine. After the car struck a curb, both men jumped out and ran for it, but officers were able to track them down right after. They found marijuana and pills inside the car. While I can't speculate why they ran from the officers that night, uh, I can say that our officers did a really good job uh, during the pursuit. And in the end, we have two individuals now in custody and we have some drugs off the street as well. Once again, of course, very good news that nobody was hurt. Those guys weren't hurt. No officers were hurt at all during this police chase. These guys, of course, are facing a slew of charges, including running from police, also some drug charges. They're due back in court on April 18th at 9 o'clock. For now, we are live in Royal Oak. Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. Aaron, did they tell you anything about why they decided to continue with the chase? You know, we see this a lot, so many different kind of police pursuits and police chases in the area. Of course, they take into account so many different factors, where this chase is going, if it's going into neighborhoods, how dangerous are the people they are going after. Royal Oak Police telling us that they took every extra precaution to make sure they were safe. Also, anybody else in those neighborhoods when they were weaving through. And like I said, just some good news that nobody was injured. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Aaron, thank you.